is your most valuable asset? Well, I think we're never prepared for a challenge of this nature, to be really honest. Man is the absolute example of adaptation, the ultimate legacy of science. The planet is a living organism if we care for it. It can give you so much in return. Man is an expert in changing his environment and then make it to his benefits. To me, you know, having a full understanding that there is no situation that we can't adapt to, that's going to give me the right kind of mindset to succeed. The only thing that I'm really good at is taking care of people. I'm going to be all alone in an island, and the only person that I have to take care of is myself. <laughs> what we perceive about ourselves and the truth about ourselves are two completely different things. Every single thing that happens to us in life is nothing more than what we project onto the world. We simply create it with the power of the mind. A true survivor has to be a person who understands the environment and changes it with technology and tools. The main reason people drop out of the show is they don't realize how difficult it is to be alone with themselves. The air you breathe, the food you eat, the medicines you need, the water you drink, it literally gives you life. Well, it's the absolute definition of God, if not love. I hate to brag, but um, I'm going to win this thing. I am! I am! Come on! <laughs> You all have been previously briefed about all the rules, even though there's not that many. Stay safe, stay warm, don't get injured, and try to feed yourself. As you all know, you are being left on this island with almost nothing except your skills and your survival instincts. Welcome to Solom Island. My name is Amelia and I'm your host. First of all, let me personally applaud each one of you just for being here. I know that gaining admission is far from being easy. That being said, the last one of you to give up this competition will be the absolute winner. If you want to or decide to give up and drop out of this competition, there are two ways you can do it. One, by using this radio. The second way is to use the extraction point. Enough of this chit chat. Now you'll be taken to different parts of this amazing island. As soon as you get there, the game is on. Now go and may the best win. This seems easier than it actually is. I don't know how people can start a fire with this. This freaking moisture, man. Everything is wet all over the place. Believe me, guys, this is way harder than it looks on TV. Hey folks, 
So, the main problem with finding shelter on a higher location of the island is the wind. But for me, it was a priority to find an area that would be a natural protection against it. So I followed the rock formations, and I found this. <gasps> Look at this five-star hotel. <laughs> no wind. <laughs> like I said, folks, it's all in the brains. And I think we're gonna camp right over here. There's some branches against the wall. Uh, I got one right here, actually. Uh, it's, it's a heavy one. Okay. Put some branches. I think I'm gonna need my both hands to do this. It's funny how overwhelming this place is. And how it makes me feel at home at the same time. Now that I'm here, I feel that maybe throughout my whole life, I've been preparing myself for this. This is exactly what I should be.
Yeah, I was right. The axe was by far my best choice of an item. And what a productive day. Four trees down, so I guess I'm ready to start my first project on this show. I really hope it pays off. Okay, here we are, day one, actually night one. This has to be one of the first challenges that we all face. Being alone in the dark with ourselves, yeah. I haven't eaten yet. I spent my whole day trying to build this kind of shit that I'm in right now. <laughs> Thank God I chose this plastic cloth as my item. You know that uh, knowing stuff is not the same as being good with stuff? Yeah. Well, tomorrow I better try and find some food if I want to stay in this game. And for now, I'm going to try to get some sleep. Although the noises on this island at night are something else. Yeah. Okay.
May all sentient beings everywhere experience peace. Om Shanti. Namaste. morning. You know what? This is just incredible. I mean, I just slept in this wonderful beach under the stars and wow, I feel so lucky. And what you're about to see is nothing more than a man at one with nature. And while you watch this, I want you to take just a very brief moment and be grateful. You know, be grateful for things that we take for granted sometimes. Be grateful for the food you eat every day, for your family, for your friends who are family in a way, aren't they? I want you to be grateful for, I don't know, the sound of these waves. I mean, it's just such a beautiful sound. And I promise you that if you focus on this feeling of gratefulness, you will be absolutely overwhelmed with joy. That's a promise I make you. Here we go. Well, hello there. <laughs> oh, well, man, what a night. So, um, the place where I was staying before, it was extremely humid. There was no way I could make a fire. And I trained how to do it. I know how to do it. So I had to look for someplace else. And ta-da, I made fire. So, I found this awesome rock wall, let me show you. Where I used it as my crashing place for tonight. Pretty cool. And on my way here, I found some snails. So, my plan I chose to bring is already paying off because, ladies and gentlemen, yours truly has made some snail stew. What? Yeah, I know. Sounds pretty gross. Not gonna talk about that now, but... Ah! So, uh, I was prepared for fevers. Um, I was prepared for food poisoning. Uh, I might have been the only one actually prepared for such things, but, uh, on the second day of this competition, I broke my leg. I'm not stupid and I, I know I can't carry on with something like this knowing that 
my leg could only get worse without the proper treatment. So, uh, I can't continue with this. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to tap out, guys. Doctor's orders. <laughs> I'm really sorry. for dummies. Hey, I thought we were meant to spread apart. What are you doing? Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Hey! So, one of the main problems we face over here is to keep ourselves dry. Now, knowing that the main source of food in the island has to come from the water, getting fish without getting wet is it's quite of a challenge. That's why... I'm building a raft. Isn't that awesome? With this raft, I actually can go to where the fish is, but not only that, I can look for other locations that can provide me shelter. So stay tuned, because Christoph is going to win this thing. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? I'm doing great, especially because remember that problem that I had yesterday related to not finding any food? Well, seems like I found the solution. Everyone, this is Paul, as you might know. Paul, say hi. Hey. 
he's nice. He had some sort of a technical problem with his camera equipment. I'm not even sure we are allowed to team up in this competition. But at least for now, it comes in handy for me. I am starving and he's cooking me dinner. Carol, come over here, please. Quietly. My new friend seems a bit camera shy. What? Shh. Talk to me, what's happening? You should stay here. Someone's coming and you should hide. Hide? Why? Because we don't know what it is. What? Why is that a problem? There's only two options. Either it's an animal or another contestant. Well, let's hope it's an animal. Ah! Are you insane? Oh! Are you okay? Ah! I've just been hit in the head. How do you think I am? Are you all crazy? I'm sorry. You thought you were an animal or something. Oh, guess what? It was the something. Sorry, man, I thought you were. What, that guy that was chasing me around? I'm Carol, what's your name again? My name's Scott. What do you mean, chasing? Well, look, I was at the beach, and all of a sudden this, this guy started coming after me and attacking me. For your food? For my ass, what am I supposed to know? Why would he do that to you? Did you lose him? No, I actually brought him along. I thought, what a lovely idea. Let's have dinner on live television. What kind of a question is that, man? Listen, I was doing my own thing, minding my own business, and the guy started running after me. But yes, I did. I lost him. How? How did you lose him? Oh, please, back away. I found a hiding place. The guy didn't see me. He just kept going on. And I was like, got to stay here. Got to stay focused. Do not fall asleep. But yeah, then I fell asleep. <laughs> I knew it. We can't stay here. Carol, pack your stuff. What do you mean you knew it? What do you mean, pack my stuff? Come on, we're gonna move. Hey, she asked you a question, man. And I happen to be interested in the answer as well. Yeah. Is there something we should know? We're not going anywhere until you explain. I should have known you'd say something like that. Hey, where are you going, man? Okay, I was trying to find some food, and guess what? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, I'm not picky. I can eat anything, as long as it doesn't kill me. <laughs> guess what? I think I just found another contestant. <laughs> We're supposed to be spread apart, but come on, this is an island. There's only so many places we can go. Hey! Hey, are you okay? You had this shift, you know, when you said you were being chased. It changed. Really? Why do you think the guy was after you? I told you to scare the hell out of me. With a bow and arrow? Yeah. Do you think there's a slight chance he might want to kill you? 
<laughs> no. No, of course not. Are you crazy? I mean, would it kill me live on television? No, come on. I'm sorry, you're right. I can say some really stupid things sometimes. No, no, I didn't mean that at all. I don't think you're stupid. I think you're just open-minded. You contemplate every possibility. If anything, that would be the opposite of stupid, right? Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I guess I was different. I would find objects that meant something to me, and I would talk to them as if they were real people. I would have a full argument with my grandmother's rocking chair. <laughs> Asking who its parents were and where they came from. My first friend was a bindweed. Of course, when I told the other kids about it, they thought I was weird and they wanted to stay away from me. But every time I would get home, I would have a bindweed trying to get into my room through the window. My parents got a bit worried, so they took me to a doctor. And I was always very ashamed of my own sensitivity. Until I was told it was a gift. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You see, we all have gifts inside us when we're born. And I think life is just this wonderful journey where we discover these gifts and we embrace them. You see, I don't think life is about right or wrong or black or white. I just think life is a bunch of maybes and a couple of what ifs. That's it. You're good. I'm pretty good. It's pretty effective stuff, huh? Morning, miss. Not really. What? Someone missing her fluffy feather bed? Yeah. At least Paul left us some breakfast here. Mm -hmm. I had the strangest dream. Run! I was... What? Run! Where? We gotta go! What's no! What is it? What's happening? Grab yourself a go now! What is it? Just... Fuck! Come on! Carol, run! 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 Run!
get some food. It's who? Come on, it's too dangerous! Okay, just spit it out! What are you not telling us, What man? do you mean? No, please! What's going on? Exactly, what the hell is going on? We're being chased by one of the other players. What? Yeah, he's shooting arrows. If this is too exposed, we gotta go! If that's true, we should call this out. No, no, no what do you think you're doing? What do you mean, why not? Are you giving up? No, I'm not giving up. I'm calling for help. I'm telling them that there's a guy shooting freaking arrows at people. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What? That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to give up! I saw it in your eyes. When Scott mentioned he was being chased, you didn't even react. You weren't surprised. No, I wasn't surprised. Oh, oh, you guys are getting too weird. I'm calling the cavalry. Only when you're ready to give up. And I mean really give up. Only then should you push that button, not a moment before. What the hell do you mean by that? We need to get to higher ground. Why? Advantage! Oh, oh, listen! Carol, come on! Look, I don't trust this guy. Well, at least he's not chasing you with a bow and arrow. I think we should follow him. Where are we going? Higher. Do you think we'll be safe there? Not safe. Safer. I'm still not getting. Why aren't we following a person who, as far as we know, could be as crazy as the other guy? Do you have a better plan? Yeah, I, I do. We should call this out. Scott thinks he's just trying to scare us off. Wait a minute. Do you think he was put here for show purposes? That would make sense. In that case, we can build like some sort of a defense structure. I have a feeling that this guy chasing us might not be the only thing we have to defend ourselves from. What's that supposed to mean? Your name is Christoph, right? Yeah. What's up with the accent? What accent? Hey. Hey. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, calm down, calm down. We're not going to hurt you. We're not going to hurt you, all right? We're not gonna hurt you. You're right. Is this your camp? No. Is this yours? What are you doing here? Could ask you the same question. I'm just trying to find some sense in all of this, okay? In someone's backpack? I'm just trying to try and. Where's the owner of the back? I have no fucking idea. If you try to look then. Calm down. Calm down. I don't care no more. I didn't understand what you said. <laughs> Are you okay? Have you eaten? No, Ma. Okay, sure. We'll get you some food on the way. We haven't got time for food. We need to leave now. I need to breathe. We were being chased. What? Oh, my God. I thought it was just me. I hid in a tree when something came after me. <laughs> oh, shit, these fucking stupid, fucking freaking reality TV shows. They do anything for ratings. They must be trying something new to get people attention. Look, I still think that the best thing to do here is use the radios. <laughs> no, you, you can't use that. You can't use that. Guys, you gotta see this. What's the matter with you guys? 
the logical thing to do here is use the radio. Something, something happens if we use the radio. Oh, you are all insane. She's right. No matter what we do, we're screwed. I know I can't carry on with something like this knowing that my leg could only get worse without the proper treatment. So, uh, I can't continue with this. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to tap out, guys. Doctor's orders. <laughs> I'm really sorry. So, you can go 30 days without food, but a few days without water and you're a dead man. That's why it was a good thing I found this. I know, it doesn't look too delicious, but all I gotta do is boil it and it'll taste like nice, fresh spring water. And that, folks, is why I picked this canteen as my item. I don't know how the other guys are gonna do it, but we're set. Let's go find some food. Hungry. Hang. There is a garden, grey, with mists of autumn tide. Under the giant boughs, stretched green on every side.
What do you want? I want the truth. What are you talking about? The beauty? Like the one from the poem you just sang. This beauty. It doesn't exist anymore. You are insane. No, I am the purge. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to kill me? I don't want to kill you. You see, that was it. What started to trigger me. I don't want to kill you, I don't want to kill anyone. All I do is give them the signal. They are the ones doing the killing. They could have helped us here. Why didn't they help us here? I don't buy that shit. I don't buy your shit. I don't need you to. Hey! Easy. Easy, guys. Huh? Where's Paul? Right here. Drop it. Are you sure about this? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> that I'm most likely dead or, or hidden away in a bunker somewhere with the others.
least until our food and oxygen supplies run out. certain if at this stage you're you've already regained your memory but if not oh God, I have to tell you don't go out something you the best. And hope that one day all this can be forgotten. It's okay, you're safe. I don't know what's happening to me. Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, sweet home. I don't think I'm gonna get some more wood. It's gonna be a long night. How are we on food? Not good. What happened to the guy? We took care of him. I'm gonna try and catch some dinner. I'm going with you. No, you should stay here. Stay but I'm going with you. on. We were being chased, now we're good. Stop with the bullshit, okay? What's 
going on? What do you mean? I think you know exactly what I mean. The guy wanted you specifically. And now, I'm having these dreams of visions. I don't freaking know what it is, OK? I just know it feels real. Dreams of what? Of this facility or lab. How is that possible? I don't know. No, I, I mean that you remember. That I remember? No, I meant... Stop it, OK? Stop it. Tell me right now. What the fuck do you know? It doesn't matter what I know. The only thing important is keeping you safe. Keeping me safe? Why me? You don't freaking know! This is the election me. process! Life on Earth is ending. We screwed everything up. We poisoned the environment, created nuclear wars, used our natural resources. We got to the point of no return. This is our chance to survive. Our chance? Humanity. Our species. I was working as a radio astronomer when they first contacted us. I said that they were coming. For years, I've tried to prove that they've been here before. Paul. Who are they? Our planet is no more. They came to save a few of us. You're the best. You are insane. I don't understand. We're here, we're fine. It's all good. This is not... No, this is real, Carol. This is not a reality show. Not on a beautiful island. This is all. This is all being projected into your mind. While well, your body is on the last station running the selection. No, no, no. This is not happening. Congratulations. Are you ready? My name is not Sol. Sol means exclusive. Only. And that's what you are. I know exactly what I am. What are you? I am a collector. Made at your image to ease the process of understanding. That sounds great, but it doesn't answer my question. What are you? Your spheres. May I see them, please? Are you talking about this? What is happening? What is this? This. Me. Everything was created for the encounter. The encounter? 
You mean... You... And me. You're alien. I am not alien. I am a program created to establish the first contact. For years, humans have sent radio messages to the stars trying to reach us. They finally succeeded. We were applied immediately, but there was no response. Why was there no response? We can't save you all. What happened? with the global warming and the, that and a lot of it's a hoax it's a hoax if the atmosphere is that sensitive we wouldn't be talking about this right, right now and we'd be sweating bullets How about global warming it's the greatest fraud that's been perpetrated on mankind this century you are the last best hope of earth Мы свою безопасность обеспечим. Мы знаем, как это Okay. Do you want some water or something? Where's Paul? Never mind, Paul. He told us. Told you what? Nothing. This this crazy story about us not really being here, about us being in some lab. Look, listen, it doesn't make any sense, okay? I know. I know it makes no sense. I couldn't agree more. I'm getting tired of this bull crap. Didn't sign up for this shit. Um, look, Carol, sometimes when we just had a traumatic experience, it is normal that we deviate a little bit from reality. Exactly. What do you mean, exactly? A traumatic experience can affect your judgment, your thoughts. Camouflages your spirit. So your instinct focuses on one thing. Survival. Come on, man, I'm tired of this bullshit. Aliens? Really? <laughs> aliens? I didn't say aliens. Well, whatever the fuck you said, Paul. Non-human intelligent beings. And you were the one speaking to them, right? That's what you're telling me. That's the story you want us to believe. So what? Now we're supposed to believe that the planet got to this point where life is no longer an option. I mean, you're telling me that my body, my soul, me being here right now, that's not real. That's some sort of virtual reality created by, by these spheres. And your only shot at surviving is to jump into a fucking alien ship. I didn't say. No, I'm saying aliens, man. I am. Or what? Are you the only one entitled to create stories around here? Huh? Look, this is completely ridiculous, okay? And I'm pretty sure they have freaking hidden cameras all over the place. And they're shooting this mumbo jumbo story. And you know what? They're expecting us to believe it. So let's just play along. Oh, tell us your story, Paul. What happens to the rest? The ones who don't go? What do 
different spheres all over the world so we can access the selection. It all happened so fast, but we found a way to trick the spheres. It didn't always work. It certainly didn't work for everyone, but it did for some. It worked with you. Not just me. He was my friend. He was the one who figured out how to trick the spheres. So, did I trick the spheres? Not the way we did. So how can I go back there and then back here? I've no idea. How do animals sense an earthquake before it happens? Maybe there's something special about you. mentioning the extraction point. Yes, but we have to... Heading to the top of the island until you find it. Listen, you have to go now and don't look back. Come on, me then. Only one of us can be saved. I'm going to make sure it's you. Why are you doing this? Because once I made a vow, for better, for worse. Exactly what I said when they killed him. My brother was a good man. He was smart, he was kind, he was strong.
He said he trusted their judgment. Now he's dead. They didn't force us, Liam. They're giving us a way out. Your brother volunteered just like we did. It says who? Your friends? The ones who came to save us? I mean, think, man. Think! If they really wanted to save us, with all that technology, they would do it right here. Instead of just, they're just killing us on this false pretense of salvation. How do you know? Huh? How do you know we're not just some stupid TV show for them? How do you know, Paul? Look around, Liam. We destroyed this, not them. We're a reckless species that destroys everything, leaving only chaos behind. That's who we are. That's what I know. If that's really how it is, then that's how it is supposed to be. No other way. People like you. People like me are honest. For less, they will die less. <laughs> I gotta help him. No, wait! We have to get to the extraction point. Paul said it's the only way. He's buying us time, isn't he? Okay, let's go. Go! <laughs> We did our best, my friend. You, me, mankind. Of course, you can understand. Liam, we have the right to our own destiny. We can't. They will not take that away from us. They killed my brother. And I'll be the one getting a bomb on that ship. Rest in peace, my friend. going on, but we will do things. This guy's trying to kill us. And Paul just gave up his life to make sure we made it to the extraction point. We gotta go. We gotta go now. It's not gonna happen.
Where are the others? I guess they left. They left you behind? Twisted ankle. Couldn't go far. Why would you stay here? Where would I go? Home is out of option. I'm a psychiatrist. I can help you. I need your fucking help. Oh. Hey, stop it! Let it go right now. Let it go. Drop it or she dies. Please, Liam, stop it. I know what you're doing. I've seen it all. No, you don't. I need to stop them. Drop it. Don't listen to him. He's gonna kill us all anyway. Do it! I'm telling you for the last time. No! See you on the other side, you motherfucker! We have to keep going. I could not do this alone, Scott. It's fine, Reed. Your first friend, remember? I'll come back for you. Hard to believe, isn't it? Sometimes, sometimes a man can have the truth right in front of his eyes. Still don't believe. What happens once Harold gets to the extraction point? There's no extraction point. What do you mean, Liam? Paul said it was the only. Paul, Paul had a plan. He's gonna make sure his wife survives. No matter what. He would kill any of you to make sure of that. Including you. Just as I would. Just for a different reason. That, that extraction point is the only way the winner can get out of There's this. There's only one way to be the winner. To be the last one alive. Paul's right. We did this. We were greedy. That's what destroyed us. You 
you know, I used to tell people to, to be grateful, to appreciate life, to, to find joy, to find their purpose, in order to find peace. Look at her. Scott. You think she killed herself? She pushed the button. She did what they wanted. She she told him she was weak. Not me. No way. I'm not doing that. I'll go out by my own rules, on my own terms. That's what I'm asking you, man. Help me. What do you want? What do you want from me? I want you to kill me. Give me some dignity. Give me peace. Wait, do it! Sometimes a man can have the truth right in front of his eyes, still don't believe. Me being here right now, that's not real. There's only one way to be the winner. To be the last one alive.
How can anyone be? When I'm there alone, turns not his head, lifts not his eyes, heeds not as he plays on. When I'm there alone, forlornly, silently, plays in the evening garden, myself with me.